If it's Ferrara in Orlando, you can see Camping World Stadium there behind me. Also behind me, under construction Fan Fest for the Cheez-It Citrus Bowl. Happy holidays. Hope you guys had a great one. Today, we had a chance to hear from both Tennessee and Iowa at Media Day. We heard from Tennessee Offensive Coordinator Joey Halsley, who obviously was talking a lot about Nico Iamaliava taking over at quarterback and how he is really taking a very similar approach. They're not changing things necessarily in the offense for him. They did go over some things that maybe were of his liking a little bit earlier in camp, but it's been business as usual. Cooper May said that he has been running as QB1 throughout bowl practices, and it was interesting. Iowa's defensive coordinator, Phil Parker, who was uh, National Assistant of the Year, he said that... Nico Yamaliava pr presents challenges because he's a different quarterback. You've seen some new first-time quarterbacks really succeed in bowl games, but then also he kept mentioning his mobility. He's different. He's said he's a better runner, and uh, and they're impressed by him. They don't just look at his snaps. He said we had 54 plays to evaluate him. He said they didn't really – Look at those as though those were garbage time snaps because you can see the skill set and the ability of Nico in those games. So, uh, also Joey Halsley, very complimentary of Joe Milton and what he has meant to the program. He wanted to make sure that that was said and uh, and continuing through bowl practices and helping Nico. Nico said that earlier uh, in uh, the media availability for the Citrus Bowl as well. So. Uh, Cooper Mays excited about working with Nico. And then also we heard from Tim Banks, Aaron Beasley. And I asked Tim Banks, hey, what's this like for you as an assistant coach with all of the transition in college athletics as a coach? Mm -hmm. And the word he used to describe it as he sat back in his chair was chaos. And he said, look, it is what it is. You got to be able to adjust and deal with it. There are plenty of reasons for people to come to the University of Tennessee and want to be a part of what we got going on. Plenty of guys that are here. And so you have to be able to adapt. And Tennessee has done a pretty nice job of that with more work to do, obviously. And uh, Aaron Beasley will play his final game as well in a Tennessee uniform. He was reflective on that a little bit. So there'll be more media availabilities. And, of course, the uh, two coaches together in their uncomfortable press conference will come before uh, the, the game as well. And then, of course, 1 p.m. kickoff on the, the Ball Network on the Sports Animal as well, Tennessee and Iowa on New Year's Day as your lead up, your appetizer for those college football playoff games. And don't forget, game day all day will uh, we'll be heard right here on 99.1 The Sports Animal New Year's Day morning. You guys have a happy new year, and we'll talk to you on game day. We'll have a pregame video and also – uh, a wrap-up video for you as well here from Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Tennessee, and Iowa in the Florida Citrus Bowl coming up in the – actually, the Cheese at Citrus Bowl, excuse me, coming up on Monday. We'll talk to you soon. I am Vince Ferrara at Vince Sports on X and all the social medias and also our station handle, Sports Animal 991. See you guys.